All right, everybody, we're here today. We're going to do a demo on this new stove in the can that we received. I introduced it in one of my uh, monthly prepping videos, but today we're going to do a video on it. This is the small version, and on the can you'll notice that it has the steps set up, step one, step two, and step three. It's basically pretty easy. It's just a can with uh, a top you take off. Use your multi-tool or a coin to get the top off. You've got a set of instructions <clears throat> in there for the two sizes of, or actually three sizes of fuel cans that they sell. Put that aside. You'll get one fuel cell. This particular one burns for one hour, it says. And again, I haven't tested this yet, so I don't even know how this is going to work. So we'll put that aside. Then inside you have a small little metal holder and that's for if you want to go inside the can and you're going to rest your fuel cell on it so I guess air could get under it and see how the the air would get under the fuel cell for better ignition and a hotter burn also. And then there's a ring just a regular steel ring that you configure into the lip of the can just like this and that's going to be your fuel, your uh, base to hold your pot, or in this case, our canteen cup. Okay? So, we're going to set this up, uh, unwrap the fuel cell. It says to break a little bit off, put a little bit on top, and light it with a match, and then let it light up. So, we're going to set that up inside the can to... We've unwrapped uh, our right fuel back. cell. It says to break off a little, so we're going to take our multi-tool, cut off a small portion of this, place it in the center. Again, I don't know how this is going to light, how easy it is to light, so I don't know how much of this to break off, but we'll soon find out. Okay, so I just made a little bit of a mound a mound with my multi-tool and I'm going to take my small little ring here place it inside the can then I'm going to take my fuel cell drop it inside there just like that again I just use the lid to, to use as a base now I'm going to take a match just like it says light this up. Let's get a view of that. Okay, the, the pieces are lit that I scrubbed off. So while that's lighting, I just want to measure out a bit of water here so we get an accurate time limit. I'm going to put 12 ounces of water in my canteen cup, 12 ounces. I'm going to take my ring from the stove and place it in the groove, just like that. Fairly simple. I'm sure this can's going to heat up as this fuel cell ignites. So we lit that fuel cell about a, uh, a minute ago. The directions or the instructions on here says this fuel cell will burn for one hour. Uh, I'm assuming it's not going to take that long to heat up my water. So I'm going to try to put the flame out with the lid when the water is boiling uh, with this. So what we're going to do is we'll put our 12 ounces of water on our stove. And I'm not going to start the timer until the fuel cell is totally lit. So we're going to come back when the fuel cell's lit, and then we'll start our time for a water boil. We'll right All right, guys, here's what the flame looks like. This is just a, a couple of minutes after lighting. I'm going to put the 12 ounces of water from my canteen cup on top of the stove, and it's now just about 1224. And we'll time this uh, for a water boil. So it looks like it's getting good, a good amount of oxygen. Get a, get a shot of it down low there, down through the holes here. 
so they could see the flame. And down a little more. Come straight in. Good. Yes, you're getting a pretty good amount of flame. You're getting some soot on the cup. Uh, maybe more than I'd like to see, but again, this is the first time I'm testing this. Uh, it does look like it kicks up a lot of flame as that disc lights up. Um, we're getting flames licking up the side and the back here. Take a shot of the back of that cup. Go around the back here. Also get a little bit of a black uh, smell. Smoky smell. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to get some bubbles in the water. It's only about a little over a minute. <coughs> The fuel cell looks like it's just about totally, it's not 100% lit, I can still see some edges that are not lit yet. Uh, I'm wondering if you could break this up into like fours and just use a piece at a time. But that remains for uh, more testing. But we'll be right back when this is boiling. Alright guys, it's now 1231. We got just about a rolling boil, if you look in here. A couple things I don't like right off the bat is the amount of soot this puts out on the in the front and the back of the, of the cup. Uh, I know it's compressed wood and I think wax mixed together. The nice thing about it is it burns for up to an hour. What I'm going to do is take my canteen cup off and I'm going to attempt to put the um, flame out and see how easy it goes out. So what I'll do is I'll use my multi-tool, I'll take the ring off, just like that, and then I will put the top back on here, a couple seconds, and see how the flame goes out. Okay, so a couple seconds with the lid on, your flame's out, you're going to get a little bit of a smoke. And apparently you could relight this again, so. Show you the cup. A lot of soot on the bottom, look at the bottom. A lot of soot in the back. Um... I don't know if I'd use this as an everyday type stove, maybe just as a backup, survival type stove. Um, but again, nice little piece of kit for under $10. Uh, everything's contained. Uh, it gets the job done and it will boil water for you. And that's the main thing when you're out uh, in the field. So, a stove in a can. Here you go. I think it comes in three sizes. Uh, get one if you have one already. Let me know how you like it. But that's our review on this particular product. Thanks for joining me. Take care.